The Wolf Podcast presents Adventures of an Amateur Horse Trainer. Hi, my name is John Hare. I host the Woe Podcast about horses and horsemanship. In this series, we'll work with three horses with very different personalities. This is Frosty. She belongs to our neighbor and friend, Susan, and Susan said I could work with her for this series. Frosty's a 10 to 12 year old mare. Susan's owned her for a few years. Frosty doesn't get ridden much. Uh, she's a bit on the sensitive and reactive side. She has had some professional training. As I work with Frosty uh, doing some lunging stage two, I'll let you kind of watch and I'll tell you about the equipment I'm using. I've got a, a camera that is on a tripod using a product called Solo Shot. Solo Shot allow, is a robotic camera that follows me out in the paddock and it uh, can be set up so that I don't need a cameraman. That little white band on my left arm, that is what's called the tag and that's following me around. That, that's, that's where the camera knows how to find me. And then uh, it's a little bit technical to set up. You'll see the, pocket, the white paper sticking out of my left back pocket. That's the instructions that I have to refer to from time to time. So Frosty's doing pretty good. She uh, she has a real nice rollback. She's real sensitive to the uh, to the movements, and she does a, a fine job. She she moves out with uh, good alacrity, as they say, and she's got good forward movement. Looks like she has a very nice lope. The purpose of this video series is to take three horses, work them every day for different reasons. One, I'm going to get them in condition, and two, I hope to, uh, to see the different personalities in each of the horses and kind of learn from that. It really, it's just a good idea to videotape yourself. I can see just from watching this video that uh, I'm not real happy with the way I'm moving around. Some of the, when I need to have energy, I don't, and when I... I uh, do have some energy. I really didn't need that much. By videotaping yourself, you really can pick up a lot of, of mistakes or a lot of ways to improve your technique with working with horses. Frosty is a, a particularly sensitive mare, so I'm doing a lot more desensitizing with her than I'll do on the other two horses. And of course, you got to have a dog out there just to encourage you along. I really love the way that Frosty backs up. She's got a really good backup, and uh, she moves out with a, with great speed. I wish the other horses that I that I worked with had that much speed when they backed up. And that's something that I noticed on the videotape, and we're going to work on. She's got a, a a decent side pass against the fence. You could see a little bit there how reactive she is when uh, I have to tap her on her butt to sit to uh, speed up her back end she loves the camera though in this video particular video I'm going to do very similar exercises with all three horses just to kind of give you a baseline of where each horse is and how they've reacted I love the look on her face there. She just looks like I'm going to sneak up and bite her, doesn't she? Buster's there to, to help and give me moral support. This is Dusty, 
our 18 year old quarter horse gelding that belongs to my wife so I try to start I try to start the horses off with a, a good front end stretch anyway just uh, it's early in the morning we start about six o'clock in the morning they haven't eaten it's a little bit chilly I want them to be uh, loosened up my goal with Dusty is to have him in better condition he's uh, he's 18 years old and I think that with uh, light riding we've done over the winter he looks pretty good but we hope to have an active riding season this summer and we want to make sure that he is in good condition has uh, some decent muscle tone and kind of work out all his kinks and I think he works he does better when he moves a lot gives him a lot less chance for things like arthritis and joint problems to set in With Dusty, I do a little bit of warm up with the 14 foot lunge line at the trot. And then I pick up the 25 foot long line and we do a little loping. And this allows him to have a bigger circle and uh, maybe it's not quite as hard on him. It is conditioning for him. The ground is, is really got about three inches of a nice soft top layer but underneath it's pretty hard and with the recent rains it's uh, slick. As a matter of fact, he, he slipped and, and went down earlier in this video. My goal with Dusty is to try and keep him going once I get him at a pace that I think that he should be going at. I wanna kinda of just let him keep going at that pace. He tends to slow down a lot. That's one of the things we'll be working on. He really likes to stop and rest. That's his favorite thing to do. And I think he's looking at me saying, uh, go ahead, uh, you could do this for the next 20 minutes and I wouldn't mind at all. Yep, I think that's what he's saying. All right. I've edited the video to make it a little bit easier to watch. I do all the exercises on both sides. I do think that if you've only got a few minutes to watch a video, you don't really need me doing every, watch every exercise from each side. This is Dusty flexing. One of the, my concerns about his flexing is that he tends to tip his head sideways there, parallel to the ground, and his nose hits his barrel, and then he kind of pulls it back really quick. I also work on trying to teach the horses to flex by using their ear, and that's what you saw me doing right there. He's got it. Dusty has a good backup. Uh, it's a little bit slow. We're going to work on trying to get that as fast as Frosty's backup and see if we can work on that. And then we also do uh, some side passing against the fence. And then back the other way. You really learn a lot about yourself when you videotape yourself. I can see some of the movements that I make are a little bit slow. And even though I have a serious look on my face, I really am having, having a fun time out there. Like I said, each horse gets to work about 25 to 35 minutes. We do different things. I try to work on as many exercises as I can remember. Once we're done with one, once I'm done with one horse, I go get the next horse and we put him to work. Dusty's headed back to the his paddock. He'll get breakfast in about an hour. 
This is my foundation quarter horse, Mayor Jessie. She's uh, 15 years old. Again, I like to stretch out that front end. She seems to enjoy this much more than the other two horses and really kind of pulls that leg and stretches those muscles out. That's her down dog. We warm up at the trot for about three to five minutes just to kind of get them loosened up. With Jessie, I'm working on a number of different things. One, I'd like to get her rollbacks to me be more sharp and quick. She tends to do a kind of a screaming U-turn. And then the other thing is uh, she also just really is kind of off with the fairy. She's looking outside the circle. She's checking out the traffic going by. There's some goats in the field next door. And she's not really concerned about them, but she is kind of paying more attention to them than me. Each horse gets to canter around for about seven to 10 minutes. No, it's not enough to work up a big sweat, but it does kind of get them, kind of get them to appreciate the desensitizing portion of the, of the morning workout. This is one of Jessie's favorite exercises to do. She loves being desensitized. You'll notice that she flexes very similarly to Dusty, so I wonder it's something we're training into them to kind of turn their head sideways. It must be something about my technique. I'm hanging on too long. I'm not real sure what's going on there. You know, I don't claim to be a professional. I'm just an amateur horse trainer who uh, followed the Clinton Anderson down under horsemanship method with, with this horse. I'm by no means an expert. I uh, just believe it's beneficial to see other people work their horses and perhaps you can learn something from it. Thanks for watching everybody. Remember you can listen to the Woe Podcast at woepodcast.com. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear them. You can Send your emails to john at woepodcast.com. Thanks for watching. Now go have some fun with your horses.